Hey everyone, welcome to Beginner Python Challenges 1. Uh, full disclosure, I'm assuming you know a little bit of Python. If you don't, I have a video link in the description for a really good Python tutorial by Derek Banas. If you understand a whole video, you'll be golden. Okay, let's get to it. Our task is to create a function that takes in a string and returns the string in reverse order. And we're actually going to do this in three ways. Each of them are going to accomplish the same task. So the first way we're going to do it is we're going to iterate over the string. The second way we're going to do it is through the actual reversed function provided by the Python standard library. And the third way we're going to do it is by Python slicing, which is a pretty handy tool in Python to use. So the first thing we're going to do is import the sys module, which stands for system specific parameters and functions in case you're curious. And we're doing this just to speed the testing process uh, so we can enter arguments in the terminal quicker. All right, we're going to hit our first function, which is the reverse iteration. And reverse iteration is going to take in one parameter, which is the word that we want to reverse. So first we're going to initialize an empty string called the reverse word. And then we're going to want to start the iteration. So this is going to be a little funky, but just bear with me. So for every index in the range from 1 to the length of the word plus 1. OK, so what does this all mean? And why did we write this? Well, recall that strings are arrays of characters, and indexes begin at 0. So, for example, the string a, b, c, d. The zeroth index of the string is simply a. In Python, we have this neat little trick where we can index negative numbers. The negative will just mean that we will start at the end of the array rather than the beginning. It's important to note that counting from the end of the array, the first index is negative 1. So for this string, d is in the negative first index, c is in the negative second index, and so on. This will all make sense with my next line of code. So when we go over each index, we're going to append reverse word with word and the negative index. So what's actually going on here? Let's go back to the ABCD example. So on the first index, index is going to be equal to 1. A letter of the original word is going to be appended to the reverse word string that we made earlier. And what letter is going to be appended to that? Well, it's going to be the negative index. What's the current index right now? It's 1, because that's what we first set it to. So word of negative 1 index, that'll just be the last word first. So in this case, it'll be D. On the second iteration, it's going to be negative 2, which is C. So first we added D, and then we added C. So far we have D, C. The next iteration is 3, which is going to be B. The next one, which is 4, is going to be A. Keep in mind we did length of word plus 1. Our length of word is 4. Our last digit here is going to be a combined of 5. Keep in mind with the range function, it does not take into account the last digit of the range. And with that line of code, we are done with the reverse iteration portion of this challenge. All we need to do now is return the reverse word that we made. Now let's look at a function that comes pre-installed with Python. So let's make our little function here and it is also going to take in a word parameter. You're going to be a little surprised with how easy this is. The reversed function takes in a sequence. In our case, that's going to be the word. But it's not so simple as just writing this out and returning it. What this will do is return you a list of the word. So if we gave it a, b, c, d, what it will return to us is d, c, b, a, in the form of a list. That's not acceptable for our purposes. We need to turn it into d, c, b, a. So how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to make use of another function pre-installed in Python called the join. What the join function will do, it'll take in a list, and it will condense that list into one string. And it'll condense it based on a delimiter that you predefined for it. For us, we don't want any delimiter between the, word, the letters in our list. So we're just going to do an empty quote, join the list of the reversed sequence. So we create a list of the reverse sequence, we join all the items in that list, and we join it based on the delimiter of nothing, meaning we're just going to smush them together and spit out a string. And with this, all we need to do now is just return it, 
and we're done with the reverse function. And finally, we have what is in my opinion the most elegant answer to this challenge, reverse slicing, which also takes in the parameter of word. This one's pretty mind-blowing. It's again a one-liner, but even simpler than before. Now, this isn't exactly easy to read, so let me elaborate. Let's say we have word of slice 0 to the length of the word. Well, this is just equal to the word itself. We started at the beginning, we went all the way up to the last letter of the word, and that gives us the whole word itself. Likewise, this expression will give us the first letter of the word. This expression will also give us the whole word as well. We start at what is implicitly called the beginning of the word, and we go all the way up to what is implicitly the end of the word, and that gives us the whole word. Now, you might not know this, but slicing also has a third parameter, which is called the increment parameter. So we can have something like this. And this is the same thing as saying this. In both cases, we start at the beginning, we end at to the end of the word. And in this case, we have a parameter of one, meaning we increment over the array by one character each iteration. And this is the default when you don't declare it. A third parameter. It'll just be one implicitly. But if we start to use negative one as the third parameter, then it'll start at the beginning of the end and continually increment by negative one, which is what we have up here. So it starts at the end and keeps going and going and going, and then it returns you that word until it reaches the end, which in this case, if you, if you do a parameter of negative one, is the beginning. And finally, we just define our main function, and we're going to declare an input string, which is going to be equal to the sys.argv1. Uh, if you guys don't understand this, don't worry about it too much. It just takes the first argument after the program name when you call it in the terminal. And so we're just going to make a few print statements just to test that our functions are actually working. All we need to do now is make a call to our main function, and that's it. Let's switch over to the terminal and test things out. So we're going to call Python to start it up. We're going to give it the name of our program, which was reverse string.py. And then we're also going to give it the word that we wanted to reverse. Let's start simple and do A, B, C, D. Looks like it works. D, C, B, A. And another one just for good measure. How about just word and clearly it works i hope you enjoyed this and if you want more please subscribe and i'll get right to it